And here is the latest addition to the fleet, the 1966 Little Beaver, manufactured in Fitzgerald, Georgia, about 45 years ago. So uh, it's probably about 12 feet long, stem to stern, maybe as short as 10. Towing it yesterday, I put the weight at probably around 16, maybe a little less. 30 amp cord, three windows on this side, a single replaced window in front, two windows in the entrance door on this side. This open vent here is access for airflow for the air conditioner, which sits inside there. So you need the air conditioner to have direct flow. Uh, and this is how you facilitate it when camping. Obviously it closes and locks when you're moving. 15 inch baby moon white walls, nice tires, plenty of tread left on them. Most of the windows are refurbished jalousies. These are very, very hard to find these days, so huge plus. New paint job. Looks very nice. Body's extremely straight with very few dings for the 45 years that it's been in service. Some of it's probably been manually straightened. And then you have a nice tongue box on the front that holds your camping accoutrements. Uh, city water intake. There are, there's no DC power on this unit. It's all AC. So um, no battery to deal with. Uh, but you got to have a generator or a 110 plug-in. Go ahead and step inside here. We're running the fan to air it out a little bit. It's been sitting a little while when we got it. Um, here on the counter, a little messy. I was taking some inventory. Uh, we've got a single sink with your city water hookup for cold water. There's a mini microwave and a full refrigerator, full mini refrigerator. In the front storage cabinets over here behind the door. Um, this is a drop floor where you see the fan sitting there. It drops about six inches below the line of the cabin to allow you to stand in here at head height. So I'm going to step in now. They've actually outfitted this with a with a bathroom. It did not come this way originally. Did a great job on it. And I'm going to close the door here. Better view of the kitchen. I'm going to close the door here. And uh, they left the original gas heater and the original gas lamp. The gas is not hooked up, but uh, it's pretty cool. And I think that's actually an electric heater. Let me see the coils on it. Um, step up into the dining area. There's cargo space with netting above. Windows all have little curtains on them. There's a the back window. But this converts into a king size bed area. And you can see I'm also running the air conditioner, which fits in underneath that left bench seat in the dining configuration. Stepping up and back and into the cabin. Close this door to give you a view of the front. But here's the kitchen. And as I look from the bedroom dining room area out the door, give you some indication. A lot of features in a very small package and some, some nice architectural touches too from the last owner who put probably quite a bit more money than I paid for it into this camper. Alright, and that takes us through the 1966 Scamp. In about a week or two she should be available for rent. After we get it checked out, safety approved and everything else. Alright.